thoughts on being named the starting quarterback? Uh, first off, I just want to thank God, you know, for putting me in the position I am. And, you know, I also like big thanks to Coach Kenny for always believing in me, you know, ever since the recruiting process and really him just teaching me something new every day along with the older guys. You know, they've done a great job of building me, you know, just helping me out every day, you know, and I think that's really what helped me out, you know, one of the things that helped me out the most. And honestly, you know, um, this is big, but um, something I always dreamed of as a kid, but, you know, I, there's a lot of work to do and there's a lot to accomplish. And um, I believe we're, you know, taking the right steps. What do you think earned you the job? Where did you make the biggest strides in camp, do you think? Um, you know, just being a good teammate, just growing every day, you know, I think that's a, a question more so for the coaches, um, not for me. I really don't know. Just came in every day just to grow and, and be a better version of myself and be a good person. And, you know, I'm surrounded by great teammates and, and um, they've done a great job, you know, bringing me in and making me feel part of the team. And um, I'm super comfortable, you know, just playing out here playing with my guys. At what point, obviously, you were the number three quarterback most of the spring, and at what point did you say, you know what, I got a chance to be the guy? Um, well, I just, I just always looked at it like um, we're teammates, you know. So I don't really look at things as a competition. I just look at, you know, if, if um, what I bring is, what, what helps win games for the team at the moment, then that's what it is. But, you know, really, I just came on every day, just trying to be my the best version of myself, and, you know, um. Got great coaches that helped me along the way with great teammates. The, the journey to get here, going back to the spring, what was your approach as you looked at where you were going to go play and your path to get on the field? Um, yeah, I just think everything happens for a reason. I'm a firm believer of that. So, I mean, you know, the journey to get here was crazy, but, you know, I, it makes sense every day that why I am here. And um, I'm beyond grateful for that. How'd your dad take the news? Uh, yeah, that was like one of the, um, you know, it was pretty emotional for him because he played here, you know, and he's seen everything that I went through and just how happy I was here. And I think that as a parent, you know, is all you can ask for. So my dad loved it. I'm sure that made his year. Kenny's talked about how he's kind of intentionally scripted some time, some adversity for the quarterbacks and some intentional bad plays and just kind of see how you guys react. How have you kind of, you know, uh, embraced that approach? Yeah, I embraced it. Um, you know, I'm not perfect. so. You know, I tell you, I got a lot of passion, so, you know, just dealing with it every day and knowing that things won't be perfect, you know, but um, just knowing how to deal with losses and wins uh, during plays and just keeping your head on straight and staying level-headed. How do you feel about the offensive weapons at your disposal and how the offense has come through fall camp? Um, yeah, I believe in them 100% and um, can't wait to play with them. Kenny said during recruitment, you know, he said, you weren't promised anything to come here and to compete. Where yeah. does that kind of drive to compete kind of come from for you? Uh, the drive to compete, I've just always been a natural competitor. And um, I think, you know, just getting to the college level and just wanting better for yourself every day, I think was is what drove me the best. And, you know, also not wanting to let teammates and coaches down. You know, you become part of a brotherhood, and, you know, that's that's why you play. Did it feel any different today out there after being named the starter? Um, no, not really, because, like I said, you know, um, I, th I believe I had more confidence from it. but. Um, it didn't feel different because, you know, my teammates and coaches, they always done a great job of treating everybody the same and, and just having a great atmosphere. So, you know, everything felt the same. Who are some of those people that helped you acclimate so quickly once you got to Delhi? Shoot, um, I would just say everybody. You know, I can't even point out a couple people alone, but, you know, just all around, we got a great group of guys and great teammates, and, and that's how you win football games. Can you mention that it's going to be the start for the opener? How do you, what do you feel like you need to do to make sure that you're starting week two and beyond? Just need to uh, go week by week and prepare as well as I can so I can go out there and perform. And, you know, winning is what's most important, so doing whatever I can for my teammates. Hey, Jay, uh, you got off to kind of a, a rocky start with those two passes over there. How did yeah. you kind of collect yourself and respond moving forward after that? Yeah, I was a little frustrated, but things happened, you know, and just having the ability to move on, you know, just learning from it and uh, making sure it doesn't happen again. Does anything phase you? No, nothing phases me. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks, appreciate it. Except, it. except bugs. bugs. You did say you were afraid of bugs. Yeah, besides grasshoppers. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate you, Coach. Congratulations. Appreciate you. Thanks, appreciate you. I'm out of here.